Checking around the outside of the house, and look what we find. A nice little gardener snake. Oh, there he goes. So we're treating for mice here, and there's mice, which means there could be snakes, and in this case there are. Rodent issues can lead to many other different kinds of pest problems around your home. So you saw in this case, um, that snake was actually on top of a rodent control box. And what that rodent control box does is it lowers, it helps us lower the rodent population around the house, which is a good thing. Um, but the fact that there's a snake on top of that suggests to us that, uh, that there was a high rodent population there because it's supporting um, the rodent predators, which are snakes and hawks and birds and that kind of stuff. So um, just by us seeing a snake there uh, tells us that there's still a lot of rodent activity or just pest activity in general. Now, there's a couple things that we can do um, to keep the snakes away from the house. There's snake repellents. Um, there's exclusion that we can do to the house itself um, to ensure that the snakes don't get inside of the house. Now, if you look at some of our other videos, and I'll have a link here uh, on the post, but you can find out some very common ways that rodents get into the house, but don't just think of it as rodents getting in. Think of it also as where snakes and other uh, pests and critters may potentially get into your house. So um, it's not just rodent control. It's, it's a holistic uh, pest control aspect of keeping pests away from and outside of your home. Now, if you live in Chester County and you have a pest issue, give Prudential Pest Solutions a call, and I'm sure that we can get you pest free today.